Okay, so every year Apple releases a new major update for the iPhone with brand new features and this year we're expecting iOS 17 and now Apple has officially confirmed that iOS 17 will indeed be called iOS 17. And what you're looking at here is a screen recording of Apple's Fitness Plus and as you can see they specifically mention that when you update your iPhone to iOS 17 and I did screen record this just in case Apple decides to change their website because they made a little mistake there. So iOS 17 is coming later this year. It's confirmed to be called that because Apple has named it iOS 17 on their Fitness Plus website as you can see right there. Now aside from that, every year Apple adds new features to the iPhone and one of the most popular features that Apple has yet to add is the ability to lock apps using a passcode. So if you ever forget to lock your device, you have an additional layer of security as you can see right there in order to open settings, I have to enter a passcode in order to get access to the application. If you want this right now, I'm going to show you how to do it in less than 5 minutes. You can do it with iOS 15 and iOS 16 and devices. So let's just dive right into this video. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. And now it's easy. Links will be in the description. As I mentioned, it takes less than five minutes. You can go ahead and download this shortcut here from the links in the description. You can add it to your shortcuts. Now, I've already preset this one to have the settings icon. So I'm going to show you how to change it on your end, depending on the app that you want to use here. So you click on the three dots here and then you name it whatever it is that you want. So if you want to change this to a different app, for example, I want to say the app store, just like so click done and I can also change the icon if I choose to so I can go here and change the icon for whatever color I want. The next thing you want to do is make sure you choose a passcode. Now I've chosen one, two, three, four just for the purpose of the video. But I'm going to go with four, three, two, one this time around. And then I'm going to choose the App Store icon. So let's go ahead and I choose the App Store app in order to get this to work properly. And now we're done. So now we have the App Store locked with this particular shortcut. Now in order to add this to the home screen here and replace your actual icon with this one, you want to go back and tap on the three dots click on share and then right here add to home screen now before we add it we're going to choose an icon from the camera roll or an image i've already pre-searched a few here from the app store and then just simply just kind of put it in place just like so and add it to your icon right there and now we have the app store on the home screen and we can replace it with this shortcut. So we're gonna go back here, place it on the home screen. We can also hide these apps from the home screen as well. So if I wanna go ahead and remove this app here, remove it from the home screen, no longer visible. Once I try launching the app store, it's gonna ask me for that passcode as we just created. And again, you can do any application that you wish in order to get this shortcut to work for you. Again, right here, you can rename it. As you can see right there, you can rename it and change the icon. Choose a passcode right here. Also choose an app. And once you're done and ready to go, you can click back and then add it to your home screen. Very simple, very easy way and workaround to lock your applications using a passcode. Again, Apple will most likely introduce iOS 17 in the next six months. It's beta one. Looking forward to that. But if you wanted to lock your apps using a passcode, this is a new, fresh way to do it. Let me know what you think about this in those comments down below. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.